never changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after. So pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling, must seem like an 18-carat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Just relax a second. Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Hello, everybody. My name is Russell, and welcome to my Fallout New Vegas playthrough. And I'm fucking excited for this one. I've been wanting to do this for ages, and with Ghost Recon Breaking Point, Breakpoint, whatever it's called, kind of being a complete and utter piece of shit, I decided to go do this one instead. This is going to be a lot better. But first, I need a character name. I, 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 okay. Okay, okay, let's see. Um, I'm not the most creative man in, in the world. We'll come up with some ideas. And we'll see which one sticks. I'm absolutely sticking with this one. Garfield. Hmm. Garfield. C. The C stands for cat. Garfield C. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. What? I'm a gigantic I'm orange cat. Why did you not well, predict that? Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework. 
But you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Yeah, man, give me that. Give me that fancy ass mirror. And let's see how we're doing here. Okay. And by the way, I'll put my mod lips. Mod lips? No, I mean, there are a lot of lip mods out there, but that's not what I was trying to say. I'll put my mod list up on the screen right now for you to see, in case you want to play this playthrough exactly the same way that I do. Alright, let's see. Garfield is uh, definitely a male. We'll pick a Hispanic. Let's see what we've got here. Anything, anyone looks like Garfield? Any Garfield lookalikes in my presets? It's close enough. Let's randomize it. See if we can get anything that spurs Garfield. Anything that says, I'm a goddamn cat that loves lasagna. It's getting pretty close. What if, what if we age Garfield? Whoa! His skin color changes. Okay, how do I change his shape? Oh shit, there's so many options. It's been ages since I played this. Garfield has no lips. He's got a lot of chin, but no lips. Where's jaw? This doesn't seem to be doing much. Oh, he's definitely wide. Yeah, he's a wide boy. That looks... Oh, let's have a look from the side and see what that does. Uh... No, 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 no. Oh, I don't know. The beard's kind of covering it up. We'll go, we'll go there. Yeah, that seems... That seems fine. I want to see what this does first, though. Looking at the side on is a lot better. Uh, yeah. Yeah, alright. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Anything else there? Nope. Cheeks. He's kind of, He's very droopy. Oh, he, now he just looks so sad. It's, it's looking pretty good, though. No, definitely, yeah, all the way, all the way. Eyes. He has pretty big eyes, from what I remember. That's... They go low and they go large. Low and large. Together or apart. There. There, that screams Garfield to me. It's looking so close. Garfield's nose, very tiny, very non-existent. It's pretty... Yeah, yeah, flat. Cool, cool, cool. Mushroom tilt. Yeah, okay, now how do I make it go in? Oh, 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 he's fucking cranky looking now. Short, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything else? Down or up? Up, there we go. It's definitely a Garfield nose right there. Definitely, no doubt. Never seen anything closer to it in my whole goddamn life. Brow can stay the same. Eye color. Does anyone know Garfield's eye color without looking at Wikipedia? I doubt it. Dark brown. Tyrant, is this skin? Oh, it is. It's pretty orange. <laughs> it's pretty orange. It might be too orange. Yellow tilt. Oh, yellow tint. Too much. It will go that way. Eye sockets. Oh, dark. Oh, fuck yeah. Sick. Sadistic. It's looking like Garfield. And this is this is with the mod list that I gave you before, so you'll know I'm not working with much here. This is this is Garfield's hairstyle. That's pretty slick. Not 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 really thinking it's him. Hmm. Hmm. No. Oh fuck. If Garfield were a man, would he be balding by now? He is 40 years old, so chances are he would be somewhat lacking in the hair department by now, surely. Smooth wire, shaggy, no. No, that's... No, Garfield would never go for that. That's not him. Neither is the Warhawk. I think I'm going to settle on the balding because, yeah, he... Where is it? There it is. Let's have a look at this one first. Um... He wouldn't keep it short. He, he would be bald. He would be trying to grow it out, but it wouldn't be working. Hair color. No, no, no. I like the hair color. Hair color's fine. Facial hair. 
Hmm. No. You gotta have something. He looks familiar. He looks like someone on telly, but I can't work out who. Beatnik. On. Mm -hmm. Kinda. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's it. We've done it. We found him. That's my boy. <laughs> Garfield C! Let's go! Yeah, you were so okay. close, man! No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Alright, dog. Let's, Let's go. On your feet. Yeah, man. I'm a six foot tall feline. Let's go. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. That that some bitch, yeah, I can do that. Now. Get out my way. Ain't a race. Oh, it is a race though. See, I win. <laughs> yeah, bitch! Fuck yeah, you slow old fart, I win. Tell me, what would Garfield be? <laughs> Barrel chested. I never seen Garfield's chest that much, but I'm pretty sure. He's a bit of a he's a bit of a doughy baby. <laughs> he's absolutely a doughy baby. Perception. He's got cat's perception. Cat's perception is pretty good. See big eyed tiger. Yeah, yeah, big eyed tiger. That's him. He's a big eyed tiger. Endurance. He's lived for 40 years as a cat. Life expectancy is probably, what, 10 to 15? Maybe 20 if they're lucky. He's pretty hardy. But he's, al uh, he's also tough as nails. He's survived a lot of shit. I don't know if he can survive flames though. That's a different story. Charisma. Boy. From the movies, I would have to say, he is pretty much a creepy undertaker. Intelligence. Is he smart? Is he smart? That is, that is a genuine question. I do not know if Garfield is an intelligent cat or not. He's not a vegetable or cretin or knucklehead knowledgeable. He's not he's not gifted. Okay, we'll just leave it as such. Agility. Cat it He's an oaf, but he's also cat like. We haven't put many points in so far, so I think we're gonna have to go there. And luck. He's a cat. You got a lot of luck. 21, 21 leaf clover? Yep, fuck it. That's our boy. That's him. Let's go over here. Come on, Doc. Let's go. Come on, Doc. Get in that chair. To grab an object. Look at it and press set. Oh, whoa. Here, catch. Oh, you're fucking awful at this. I got a pencil for it. I'll measure if he walked in and he just stepped in. Stick it up his nose. Hang on a minute. <laughs> it's just right. gonna float there. I'm gonna say a word. But there's no. What are you, you doing? The first thing that comes to mind. Sure. Dog. Oh fuck! I hate those things. Uh, dinner. House. Uh, renovate. Night. Oh, dreams. Bandit. What is it, Ben? While I freaked out. Bribe. Light. Oh, <gasps> dark. Mother. Guffy never had a mother. He's made in the lab. Hmm. Sometimes when you give tests like this, <laughs> that giant pencil is putting me off. For, and I reckon that ain't always the best thing. First one, the conflict just ain't in my nature. Yeah, agree. Garfield avoids every situation. I ain't given to relying on others for support. John has given Garfield lasagna his entire life. He's very subservient. What was the question? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Um strongly disagree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Oh that's him. Strongly agree. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Uh does Garfield have a phone? It's twenty nineteen. I don't think he has a phone. So strongly I agree. charge in to deal with my problems head on. They disagree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. It's just a bunch of shitty old paint, mate. I don't know. We'll set a shadow in the okay. door frame. How about this one? Looks like a child of shadows. I'm too embarrassed to say what it looks like. I don't know. Um, none of... See, this looks like a child here, shortly. And shadow. And, I don't know, dirt path, road. Road? Could be a road now. If it's meant to be a ship. I don't know. I'll say a ship anyways. Last one. 
Oh, it's a fucking spaceship. God damn it. None of these. It's two dogs kissing. Garfield hates dogs. It's a mushroom cloud then. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Oh, that pencil. I think I fell a little bit. My bartering skills are pretty good. Explosives. No, I kind of want... Uh, yeah, put more into lockpick. Lockpick's always been a troublesome scene in these games of a speech. Yeah, cool. Yep, yep, I'm fine with that. Let's do it. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. Is it this pencil <laughs> that I'm carrying in front of your face? Sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. <laughs> oh, you're a funny man. Fast shots. Built to destroy. The flame of that burns twice as bright, burns half as long. All weapons have plus three chance to critically hit, but equipment conditions decay. I'm not into that, bro. Throw weapons 30% faster. Um. Yeah, small frame. Small frame sounds good. Good nature. No, he's, he's a fucking dickhead. Let's go Wild Wasteland. I love Wild Wasteland. For a playthrough, I think it'd be weird right, not to have Wild it? Wasteland. Come with me. I'll see you out. Do, do you do? All right, I'm going to take this pencil. It's mine now. Thank you. Oh God, that's hideous. Um, let's go. See me out, Doc. Once I uh deal all your shite that you're not using anymore, Doctor, because I am the last patient. You will ever be seen. Take that as you will. Doc Mitchell. Shit, man, you got no clothes? Especially not anymore, I'm taking this hat too. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. <laughs> That's nothing. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. It's a glove, a pit boy a glove. Pit -boy. Oh, and a pit boy three thousand. One of them vaults he made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something <laughs> taken from you. <laughs> He's bitter about that put pencil this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much I, my style. I anyway. fucking like being nude, mate. What's your problem? He shouldn't have gone through my Didn't shit. Didn't have much choice, I'm afraid. But I understand the sentiment. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. I have a feeling I may get killed a few more times, Doctor. Should I? I don't know if I want hardcore mode or not. You, If you maintain it through the end of the main story, you'll receive a special reward. You know what? Fuck it. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Yeah. Never played it. Never done it. Not my thing. But for this, let's fucking do it. I'm 100% ready just to get killed by everything. Hey, Doc! Oh, shit. Oh, this is unfortunate for you, my friend. You just made yourself a really easy target. Hey, Doc! Oh, my God! Oh, man! Let's go talk to Sunny Smiles. Now we got the doctor out of the way. He did good for me, I'm sure. I mean, I wouldn't still be here without him. But, you know, that needed to be done. This is hardcore mode. This is how we get down in hardcore mode. What's up, Easy Pete? Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. That's what I go by to. Teach me to survive. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Excuse me. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. My hands were tied. My hands were tied. I was in a bad situation. You don't understand, Sonny. 
I would have been able to defend myself if my hands weren't bound. Alright, let's get some target practice with a, with a gun and not my throwing spears. Because obviously I am a legend of throwing that's spears. Right oh shit. Oh damn. Nice oh shot. mad. Well that's a start. Done it. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Damn right. I'll tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? No, I don't care. Suit yourself. Hope this helped you some. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Yeah, I guess I am a newcomer. I didn't choose to come here though, I just got killed. Hardly my fault. Are oh, you having trouble? You having trouble, Trudy? Oh, let me fix this problem for you, huh? Let me th oh shit. Oh no! Throw it again! Quickly! Oh shit, I'm vilified. God damn. Powder gaggers. Oh shit, they don't like me. They don't like me at all. I take them all, buddy. Hey Trudy. I hope you didn't just bring a heap of trouble down on Good Springs by killing Joe Cobb like that. His friends might come looking for him, and I don't think they're gonna care who was involved in his death or not. Well, what's done is done. So, uh, what can I do for you? About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Okay, well, um, where is he? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Alright, now let's go up and see Ringo. Normally I just, like, shoot him in the head as soon as I go in there, but I think for the XP, the fact that I'm probably going to need a lot of XP considering this is my first time ever playing hardcore mode, that I'm going to do this mission. I need the experience. I need as much as I can get. That's close enough. Who are you? And what do you want with me? I want to help you, you son of a bitch. Jesus. Put the gun down. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan? You know how to play? Unless it's Dungeons and Dragons, I'm not interested. Uh, thanks, I guess. Cobb wasn't the problem, though. I could have handled him if he ever found me. Cobb's friends are the bigger problem. And when he doesn't get back, they'll be coming here for blood. There's no way I can fight them all. You say you can handle him, yet you are caught up here in a shed by your own choice. I don't know if that's true. So what are we gonna do? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Yep, well, guess what? You need a hired gun. Garfield C is here to help. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps, but you get me out of this and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. I don't need payment. I won't let you stick your neck out for free. I can't pay you back now, but I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays up. You've got my word. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... I guess I'll ask around. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. It's always Sunny Smiles. Always the first person they go to is Sunny Smiles. You'd think no one else in this town existed except Sunny Smiles. It's always fucking Sunny Smiles. Why couldn't you send me to a dark mi- Oh. That's right. What's up? Where's Sunny at? Just... Just standing around by herself. Awesome hey town. What a party. I don't think Joe Cobb knew what hit him. I'm hoping you took him down for a good reason and not for fun. I think I'm gonna help Ringo take on the powder gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. She asked me if I'm a murderer, basically, or if I murder just for the thrill. And now she's happy to join me. I think she murders for the thrill as well. Well, that was easy. Sunny. Even though Joe Cobb's dead, his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. 
I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen, Sonny. <laughs> okay. Okay. Goodbye. I'll, I'll go waiting. talk to the folks. Easy Pete's not gonna be able to give me his dynamite because he's a sorry son of a bitch. But hopefully the other people will okay. join me. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? Yup. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. I do think it's right. You should help me take down the powder gang. Bullets, explosions, lots of fun. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. Charm. I'm with you. Let Seductive me have a word charm. With a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Oh, but he's cheaper than Mr. Krabs. It's gonna be goddamn hard to do that. To get him to give be us anything. Be careful out there. Thanks, I will, because talking to him is gonna be an ass wipe. But let's go do it in Taxi. Easy Pete. Hey, buddy. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Give me that shitty dynamite you've got hidden around. I'm goddamn Garfield. I can do some shit with it. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. I Better live for danger. Safer that way. Ah, oh, fucking far off, Easy Pete. Son of a bitch. Ah, yeah. oh, fuck off, Easy Pete. God, he's... Oh, I just want to... Oh... Just... Just, just, uh... Just pretend it... To... Oh, shit, he's on the run. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, where's he going? Are you going to find that dynamite, easy piece? Is that where you're going? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I've never seen him do this. I talked to him, but he's always just sitting in that goddamn chair. Where are you going? What's happening? Pete! Pete, what you doing? Howdy. Yup. Th thanks, Pete! You going back? Why? Do you just come out here and pee? What is what is happening? Let's see how you feel about this. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god, it missed. Oh god. Oh my god, no! Come on! Come on, Garf! Come on, Garf! <laughs> do, you, do you think they'd know if I showed up in Easy Pete's attire and suddenly he's missing? Where, where is it? It's a pre no, it wasn't a pre war hat. Where is it? The Cattleman Cowboy hat and the Field Hand outfit. Do, do you think they would know something's up when suddenly Garfield C, the man they just saved, is currently here? Oh, fuck. Oh fuck, what's happening? Oh. I think they know something's up, or at least this guy does. Maybe if I put him out of his misery, we'll be all good. Fuck. You're just a settler, you're nothing to me. You're fucking nothing. You're nothing my spears can't handle. Fuck. You're nothing my spears can't handle. I'm Garfield C. Fuck. There's nothing. Take the spear, Garf. Oh man, we're gonna have to actually use a gun. I'm sorry, buddy. You were witness to things you shouldn't have seen. Why are you carrying a super stim pack? You ain't got needs for that. Alright. Anyone else see anything? You're all cool with me. If you're not dead yet, therefore you are cool. What's up, buddy? I need some shit. I got the high ground. <laughs> way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I was dead. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. Of course, you're hurting you'd caps, say that. I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. I need help fighting the Powder Gangers. Do you think you can offer me something to help fight the Powder Gangers? Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. Oh, That's a you thousand fucking cap investment bitch. you're talking about. Uh, well, then let them take over the town, then you'll get no fucking business whatsoever. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And, uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. Coward. to put my business first. You understand. And now let me sell back that... <laughs> let me sell back that, that leather armor you just gave me. I don't need it. 
Get some guns and explosives, because that's what we're about to deal with. Should I up medicine to 20? Sure, not the worst of ideas. Repair science. Uh, what's lockpick at? 36. Um. Actually, no, no, no. Let's. Let's up repair. Yeah, we'll take that to a nice even 20. Lady killer. In combat, you do plus 10 damage against female opponents. See, there's not as many female opponents as there is male, so it's not quite the stats I want. Intensive training. You can put a special perk back. Eh. Combat, you do plus 10 damage against male opponents. And basically, I can get fucked by him too. Fucking sweet. Take it. I'm into it. Hey. Hey, hey buddy. You looking to buy some supplies? Uh, no, I'm looking to bang you in the back. You up for it? Okay, so we've got some leather armor. Doc Mitchell ain't gonna do shit. Easy Pete is a dead. I think we're good. Let's let's start this. Trudes, what's up? Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Nope, ready for a fight. What's up, Ringi? So what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? Oh fuck yeah, she did. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. No, I, I think we're good. Let's fucking go do this. That creepy child in the background with his sugar is freaking me the fuck out, Ringo. I think the jet is kicking in. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to oh, fuck's sake, Sadie, what are you doing? How many? At least six. They look pretty mean. Yeah, but so do I, and I'm a goddamn cupcake. Let's I'll go. I'll set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Oh, they ain't got no chance. They got oh shit, Sonny, you got no you got no body. It's a bold move. But I guess they can't hit what they can't see. Let's go. Wait, is that a powder ganger or is that one of ours? I think it's one of ours. Are you running away? You coward! You coward of a man! Ooh, 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 something in here. Fuck yeah, Siggies. Alright, there they are. Let the fight begin then, huh? Now you bastards want some of this? How about you take this, sir? That was a fucking horrible shot. Let's try this again, huh? How about I threaten you with something that's actually threatening this guy? Come on then, boys. Come on then. Oh, give me all that fucking karma. Where are the rest of you then? That is not what I want to target, Fallout. Oh. Oh, he's a happy chap, isn't he, over there? Alright, boys. Oh, you survived, did you? Anyone else? Oh, there is. Oh, you're, you've barely even been nicked. Let's make of that something special. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, God! Alright. Anyone left? I don't think you'd want to be. Oh, yep. Yeah. Hey. Oh man, let's let's finish this in style. Let's go for the head. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> god you man, calm down. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm so close to death. Where's that super stim pack that that boy had before? Oh, feed me that, please. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Yeah, sure. You're welcome. I had fun. That's all that matters. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan Camp. I'll, I'll be sure to stop in and blow your head. I mean, say hi. Oh my god, I look so damaged right now. Oh man, I'm walking with a limp. Oh, Trudy. Trudy, send the doctor. <laughs> we'll get a new one, because the old one ain't working no more. <laughs> all right, everyone. That'll end episode one of Fallout New Vegas Garfield's Adventure. I hope you enjoyed. I sure as hell did. I look forward to making episode two. I also look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Goodbye. And don't play Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Play this instead. Play Fallout New Vegas. It's so much better. <laughs>